All right, there's more big news coming out of Chaos Group. And you might have seen with the release of Vantage 2, they enabled the compatibility of Anima 5 software. I think that's what it's called from AXYZ. And now we get the announcement that Chaos Group actually purchased AXYZ Design. And now they're going to start integrating it in to their products so that adding animated people to a scene will be hopefully much easier. Let's check out the product and see what is available. I'm going to just test it live here and see what we can figure out. So if you look at the news releases, it's just Chaos Acquires AXYZ Design and it's 40 animated human technology for ArcViz. And the interesting thing is they say, Increasing the breadth of digital people has been a top request from customers, particularly in architecture. With the acquisition of Anima, Chaos can meet the needs of its customers while setting up new ways to make high-fidelity 3D, 4D human character assets more accessible than they've ever been. Chaos is currently planning how to best integrate the software with existing products like Chaos V-Ray, Corona, whose users already use Anima on a daily basis. Okay. I have to admit, I have not used AXYZ specifically for a long time. Actually, that's not true because their products are included in Chaos Cosmos and I use them all the time from there. But I used to buy libraries of them and buy their motion capture files and animate them in my scenes and things like that. It's a little bit complicated to do that all manually, so I'm excited to check out the Anima software to see if it makes it way easier. And of course, more integration with V-Ray is potentially awesome because I love integrations that work seamlessly and smoothly. So hopefully that's what we can find here. If you go to AXYZ, you can just go to products and they have all their different products here. I'm going to look at Anima Lite because it's a, it's got a free trial and it just limits how many people you can get. You can get these subscriptions, which gives you all the characters 3D, 4D people in our online store. Okay, and then there's Pro where you can just down, you can get on-demand content, buy new people, add them to your collection. I'm just going to get this one. Okay, if you've never seen the AXYZ people before, they're really high quality, like photo scanned people. Probably the best ones that I've seen. They're not always perfect because scanning people is super hard. And, well, making people look real in 3D is the hardest thing, obviously. But they probably are the best and they have you know they're rigged so you can animate them i'm excited to see how that works with anima okay but you can see the video here the stuff looks pretty good pretty real and they have all sorts of people a huge catalog of people okay i'm trying to get this thing installed and it's been kind of a pain honestly but you know typical installation stuff but i did notice so i have my 3ds max here i don't need to install it for that and I don't need to install C4D, but I did notice that you have Unreal Engine plugin down here, which is awesome. Using this in Unreal would be great. But of course, there's no 5.2, which is what I would need. I think, I think I have 5.1 installed too, though. So I'll try that probably at a different time. Right now, I'm going to focus on 3ds Max. But here we go. Okay, just got to set your pass. Set my units to Imperial, you know, because America. We're excited to announce that AXYZ is now part of the Chaos family. Chaos is a global leader in 3D visualization technology, and today's news marks the start of an exciting new chapter for AXYZ users. Cool. Okay, so there's a bunch of, what do they call these scenes, right? Uh, projects. I'm going to do a new project. Oh, cool. There's all these presets in here. Geometries that you can walk around. I assume you can import your own geometry here. Yeah. Yeah, that's really where this would come in handy, right? Import your own geometry, set up a bunch of people all over the place, and then export it. This works as a standalone thing, right? Like, you do, uh, you set everything up in here. It's a lot like 3ds Max Populate. And, okay, I'm signed in now. Or er, This works a lot like Populate, but it is standalone. So you do all the Populate type stuff in here, and then you import it into your scene. Okay, since I totally don't know what I'm doing in here and I'm just checking it out for the first time, what I really want to do is just export it and test it out in 3ds Max and then test it out in Vantage. Because, I mean, this could be a game changer because I have used these people before, right? And they have so many people. 
So if you had the subscription, you'd have access to all that. And then you could do these big groups of people. I mean, this this stuff would be so handy. So much better than setting it all up manually. Trust me, I've done that before. It's kind of insane to do that. Okay, so I can see this being super useful. And I can also see that in Vantage, why they added compatibility for this. Because Vantage is really lacking. If you look at it compared to like Twin Motion or something like that, where you can easily animate people and cars and stuff, you know, it's lacking. That's why people are asking, like, hey, can we get some animated people somehow in V-Ray? So I can see why they bought this. And this could really add a lot of life and interest to animations, especially when you're doing an advantage. So let's just export this and see what happens. So I think I can save this as, yeah, save this as a project. And then let's see if in 3ds Max, if I've done this correctly, I should have plugins in 3ds max now where i can just import this which is sweet okay i opened up 3ds max and indeed i do have this new file menu up here import anima project let's just go to it and see if it works and mind you i've never done this before i'm just checking it out and exploring for the first time to see how useful i think this will be so far so good open so there's like scenes within projects Okay, so I, I merged. You can have multiple scenes inside of a project. I opened the project and merged one scene only. Not seeing my guy, though. What did I do wrong? Okay, saving there. Importing now. Come on. Got to work for me. Right here. Dude, animation. Open. Reading anima materials. Baking scenes is highly recommended for network rendering. The render process will be faster and avoid potential unbaked scenes. Okay. Um, this gives you the option to configure the materials. I saw that you could do either a plaster or white transparent or just regular materials. Apply. That's good. We got an animated dude in here. Now, it's limited, I think, because I'm using a free version of it. So I'm using the light version. Okay. And that's why I think it limits to four seconds. But it totally worked, and that's cool. And I know that if you do this, you can... Actually, you want to select this one, and you can go in and change some things. You can reload the scene, rebuild the materials, show textures on viewport, which I do want to do. There we go. Anyway, there's our man. Okay, I got to be honest. This seems like it could be really, really nice. Because if you've ever an tried to make a full scene of animated people, it is a massive pain. You, you basically need a plugin to do it. Okay, and this one's pretty slick. Now, the last thing to test is just whether it works in Chaos Vantage. See if we can figure that out real quick. I bet we can. So I'm just going to send this to Vantage real quick and see what happens. Okay, so Vantage 2, they have added, at least in their release notes, it said they added compatibility with anima 5 so that's what i'm about to check out okay i've got vantage open i've got my guy in here i imported the vr scene and i see that there's some scene animation here in the animation toolbar please work oh it totally doesn't what's going on here <laughs> uh. That's funny. That does not work. I wonder if that's because I had to import the VRC, export and import the VRC manually, and I got some settings wrong. I'm going to try it with the live link and see what I can get. Okay, I got it to work with the live link. If you start the live link, with the live link on, it's hard to show in one screen, but you can see if I run the animation in 3ds Max, it is working like it's supposed to in Chaos Vantage. So there you go. The live link works, and that's pretty cool. Definitely an easier way to fill your scene with animated people. And then, of course, Vantage gives you an easy way to animate that or render the animation of that. So the live link works as expected, but on exporting the VR scene and importing it into Chaos Vantage, I never got that to animate properly. Yeah, it animates like this. What am I doing wrong here, people? Let me know in the comments. All right, so here's my basic take on this software. I think it's awesome that Chaos bought this because it means that they're trying to bring us more animation tools. And obviously, people filling out your scene is a huge part of making a 
an animation feel alive. So the idea of bringing in a huge library of that, purchasing it, and integrating it more into V-Ray is awesome. I think we still have a long ways to go. I do like that they added compatibility for Chaos Vantage because that's the way I'm animating these days. And I just think that it needs to work better. I personally like using the VR scene a lot more than I like using the live link. But maybe I'm just doing something wrong there. You guys let me know. Maybe it's because I'm using the free version. Maybe I need to bake in the animation before exporting the VR scene. I don't know exactly what it is. Someone that uses Anima 5 all the time can tell me in the comments. Anyway, I think this is a pretty big deal for the future moving forward. Not ready to jump right into it yet, but I'm excited for what Chaos is doing, trying to make moves to make things better for artists. So you guys let me know what you think. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. And of course, subscribe for more experimentation videos and a lot of other things coming, all relating to ArcViz, making your ArcViz better, learning the software, all that stuff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.